Hare Nanda Kisho
This is will be first. Then you can be good. Otherwise, no. So, Bhakti Maru Thakur Thakur. We should follow. If you want to be pure devotee, then you must follow. When doing kirtan, not sing here and here, or doing kirtan or not. Not like this. You should try to understand the meaning and totally observe in this kirtan. Then you can gain anything. Otherwise, no. So this song should be done like daily. Reminding our senses that we should follow. Go on. You can understand it? Here. Yeah. Very quickly. As Srila Gurudev explained, this is a song of Sharanagati. Sharanagati is not exactly bhakti, but it is the door of bhakti. And without the six principles of bhakti, of sharanagati, no one can enter the realm of bhakti, which is ultimately service to Radha Krishna in the transcendental land of Goloka Vrindavan. Oh, you should try to promise that from today, just now, we will follow this. If you want to be devotee, and if you really don't want to be devotee, then you should not. You can, but possible. No harm. <coughs> Beginning Anakul Yasya Sankalpa Pratikul Yavivarjita. Very, very soon, I have okay. no time. So okay. Very quickly. <laughs> so, um, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is saying, I'm offering my mind to you, my body to you, my family to you, everything to you, and who is to you? Nandikishore. And this Nandakishore is more specifically named in the last verse of the song, that is Radha Nath. He who is not or Lord is Radha. deha geha jo kichu mora arpinu tuma pade Nandakishore. What is the meaning? It means my mind, my body, and my family, and whatever I possess, I'm offering at your lotus feet. Oh, Nandakishore. Not by only word, but by action and truly. Not that I am giving you, but lock and give you with me. Not like this. Totally, sir, giving you. Mm. Then in the next verse, he is showing his unconditional surrender. In bad fortune or in good fortune, whether there are problems or no problems, in any condition, I'm taking shelter of your lotus feet with full faith that simply by remembering you and offering everything to you, all problems are solved automatically. Whereas if I think of my problems, then only more problems come because I make a bridge with the conception of problems. So now I don't take any more responsibility. If I have given everything to you in your lotus feet or not to... But worry for this. What should I do? What should I do? All oh, this problem. Not all oh, Krishna will solve it. You should only be like dogs. Oh, making some para. Like a god always. Uh, and you should be free from maintaining yourself. We are like god dogs of Krishna. No harm. Hmm. Then in the third verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, You can slay me or protect me as you like, because I am your eternal servant. Not that I want you to protect me and maintain me bodily, but whatever condition you put me in, I take that as your mercy, and I'll serve you with whatever I have. Understanding the meaning? What Bhaktivinoda Thakur is telling whether you are looking after me or not, whether I am happy or unhappy, in all circumstances, I am yours. 
Now it is your <coughs> job to look after me or not. But I have given to you everything. So don't, I never worry. If death is coming, problems are coming, or nothing, I will be like dog, always sitting on your doors. If you are giving some remnants like dogs, oh, I will take, otherwise I will wait for that. I will only chant and remember. This is serenity. Whether you are giving me good things, or you are giving me so many things, problems, no harm, now I am happy. I have given everything to you. Yeah. I have given everything to you means including my mind. So my mind will never be on what you give me or don't give me, because my mind is in you, in your instructions, in your prayers, in your pastimes. And I'm also not asking you for liberation. In the next verse, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, If I have to be born again, then I beg you that I can be born in the house of your devotee. In one other prayer, which is Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur's commentary on Lord Chaitanya Shastastakam, he said, you can make me a bird or a beast. Whatever I have to become from my sinful reactions, it doesn't matter. Still, I only want you, even if you put me in those lower conditions of life. I'm not asking you for any material condition, only that I want association of your devotees. He says, not only do I want to take birth as your devotee, but it doesn't, in the house of your devotee, but it doesn't even matter how I'm taking birth in the house of your devotee. That is, even if I'm taking birth as a worm in the house of your devotee, even that's satisfactory to me as long as I can think of you. But if I take birth as any Lord Brahma in any universe, if that Lord Brahma is adverse to you, even though he controls the whole universe, I don't want that kind of birth. Then he says, I only have one desire, that I can get the association of those devotees or any pure devotee of yours who is free from any material desire and who only wants to be with you in a relationship with you. And you are my every relation. Ultimately, we have a relationship with Krishna in the spiritual world in a specific way. But as Srila Gurudev said, Sharanagati begins from the beginning of bhakti. Therefore, here in this world, Krishna is my everything. Krishna, you are my father, you are my son, you are my beloved, you are my friend, you are my supporter, you are my lord, your protector. I don't know anything that you're not to me. You're everything to me. So I don't, I'm not dependent on any other father, on any other son, on any other relationship. So this is the beginning, and then ultimately, Krishna and we have a specific relationship in the spiritual world, and all other relationships come from that relationship. So he's concluding that, O oh, Radhanath, means, O oh, you who are the, who's not, whose Lord is Radharani, who are subservient to Radharani, and this is the mood of all Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas, and Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is Rupanuga Varayate. He's the greatest of all Gaudiya Vaishnavas and servants of Srila Rupa Goswami, who prefer to see Krishna serving Srimati Radharani. So he says, O oh, Radhanath, you are my entire life and soul. I have no independent life, but only you. And now I'm hearing so many from the mouth of devotees. Oh, there are so many problems. My wife has left me. Now my children are like orphan. So many problems. Some lady devotees coming, oh, very big problem. My husband has left me. I have nothing to do. What should I do? Can you help? So many problems, so many problems. They try to this, do this, that, but everywhere fell. Everywhere fell. Because the root of all these problems is that you are not Saranagar. You 
We have no relation with Krishna and you have no trust in Krishna. No belief in Krishna and his name. That is all problems coming. Krishna has not advised you that, oh, you are Brahmachari for 13, 14, 20 years in mud of Swamiji, your Prabhupada. It was so merciful and he engaged. Has he told that you should go and marry? Krishna has advised you that make a boyfriend or girlfriend. Has he told? Who brought all these problems? <laughs> Myself. Yourself only. You made problems all. If you are like this, always serving Krishna and depending on Krishna, any problem cannot come. Can any problem come for Sukhdeva Goswami? Any problem for Nath Goswami? Always depending on Krishna. So anyone, we are also dependent on Krishna. That is why no problem at all. To whom we touch, problems go. What is the meaning of touching? <coughs> if you want to touch, then you should try to follow from today. That Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. He has created the whole world and he is supporting nursing whole. Then why he cannot support you and nourish you? Why problems? It is that you are making all problems. You are the root cause of all problems. Krishna wants to take you out of problems, but you are making hmm? There was one nation, then you were not satisfied, again two daughters, one son, again more, and they, they become some mature, they were, and they were deadly against you, with you and you, her mother. Making so many problems now. So, for this you should be Sharanaga. Name is more merciful than Krishna, you should know. More, more, more merciful. Krishna had invested his all mercy, power, opulence, everything, his mercy in Krishna's name, but you are neglecting. You are depending on your own job and making some money. And this making money, making more problems. Problems after problems after. You can realize all these things. Because Shastra has told all these things. You cannot be happy by this, solving all these problems. Only one problem is in the root of all what you have forgotten Krishna. You are neglecting Krishna. Krishna name. Especially Krishna name in this Kali Yuga. Chant like Haridas Thakur. And you will see that Lakshmi will come and follow you. Oh, how can I serve you? Have you this faith? We have this faith. And that is why oh, Lakshmi is always with us. But we told that, wait a little, I have no service. Please be very far away. We also fear from the shadow of Lakshmi Devi. What to tell Lakshmi Devi? You should be like that. And we should, you will see, oh, very, very good, very good. No problem at all, no problem at all. Krishna will quickly solve all the problems. Huh. 